Hello, my name is Kelly Anton, Siemens HMI and SCADA specialist with PCC. In this lesson, I am going to show you how to create your first HMI project. The HMI project will contain two Siemens HMI devices. The first one will be a Siemens comfort panel, and the second one will be a PC runtime advanced HMI application to run on a full-blown Windows PC. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the Create New Project. I will give my project a name. It's going to be called HMI, and then I'm going to select the Create button. This will create the HMI project for us. So I am still in the portal view of the software. So the software switched to the first steps section. That allows me to configure a device. So I'm going to select configure a device, and then I will select add new device. Depending on the software that you have installed, it will determine the target devices that you can select from PLCs, HMIs, to PC-based you know, runtime systems as well. So I'm going to make sure that I have the HMI category selected. The first device that we're going to add in is going to be a Siemens comfort panel. So I will pick the Cymatic comfort panel category. Then you will have to pick the size of your comfort panel that you're going to add into your application. So I'm going to pick a 7-inch display. Then I have to choose between a touch-only or a key panel. So I'm going to pick a touch-only device, which is going to be the TP700. So then you will select the part number of the HMI device. When you select the part number of the HMI device, it gives you a brief description. If the start device wizard box is checked in the lower left-hand corner, please uncheck that because future lessons we're going to be creating our HMI from scratch. So now I will select the add button. When you select the add button, this will add in the TP700 comfort panel into our existing project. It will come in with a default name. In this case, it was called HMI underscore one. If you would like to change the default name, you certainly can. So you can right click on the HMI, select rename, and I'm just going to call mine panel. All right. So now my HMI device is called panel. I'm going to switch to the project view, so that's in the lower left-hand corner, I can select project view. When I do so change to the project view, I can get a full view of my HMI screen, so this is my TP700 uh, screen, so I could start doing my screen development now if I would like. In the project tree, if you do expand out the TP700 comfort panel, you will actually have access to all the different editors within the software. If you expand out screens, then you can actually open up different screens and add additional screens into your application. The next thing I will do is I'm going to go into my device configuration. So I'll double click device configuration in the project tree. Then I will select the Ethernet port on my HMI device. And when I do that, I can now look at the Ethernet addresses and I could change the IP address or set the IP address of the HMI device. So now that we have a 7-inch uh, comfort panel in our project, the next thing that I would like to show you is how to add in a PC Runtime Advanced application. Instead of adding this application in through the portal view, I'm going to do it actually in the project view of the software. So I'm going to pick Add New Device. So up here I can double-click Add New Device. Now, instead of picking the HMI category, because this is going to be a PC runtime system, I would have to select PC systems. In the PC systems, uh, for you to have this option available to you, you'd have to at least have the WinCC Advanced software installed. So you can select the industrial PCs category and then select, say, panel PC, and then you could pick a specific Siemens series or family of industrial PCs, or you could select the PC general category and add in more like a white box you know, PC. So I'm going to pick the PC station, and then I'm going to select OK. This is going to add in a PC station into our project. We do have to tell the PC station what type of PC-based HMI application is going to be running on it. So in the catalog on the right-hand side over here, I would select the Cymatic HMI application. And I really have two choices. I could pick you know, RT Advanced or I could pick RT Professional. RT Advanced is the HMI on a PC. RT Professional will be for full-blown SCADA on a PC. So I'll select WinCC RT Advanced, and it shows you where that can be dropped in the PC station. 
So I'll just drag that over, and now this PC station will be used for a PC runtime advanced application. The next is that I have to add in the type of interface or what type of communications I'm going to be using. So that would be in the communication module section over here. And I'm going to select Profinet slash Ethernet. This will give me a listing of you know, higher end CP cards that can be added into the PC or I could select the IE General, which would be just a standard Ethernet interface on your PC that you would be using. So I'll drag the IE Ethernet into the slot over here. When you drag the IE General over into the PC station, then you, under the Ethernet address area here, you could actually set the IP address for your PC-based HMI. The next step with the PC-based HMI application is you would want to expand the HMI runtime section or your, your HMI runtime application in the project tree and go to runtime settings. In the runtime settings, you would be able to select the screen resolution for your screen development. So in this drop down list, you'd be able to you know, select you know, from a variety of different screen resolutions. I'm just going to pick the default of 1024 by 768. Then the next thing you would do is go to screens, and then you would select add new screen. So I would double click add new screen, that will add in a full blown HMI application screen for me to start doing my development. So in this lesson I showed you how to add in a PC based runtime application as well as a comfort panel application in our project.